Okay, so I am going to walk you through uploading pictures, um, images to your GitHub. So we have so many ways of doing this, right? Um, if I go straight to github.com and I go into the repository that I'm working in, uh, I can go in here and um, I can upload using this little plus button, upload files, okay? Um, I have an images folder that I created the way that you create an image folder in uh, GitHub would be to create a new file and then you just call it images and then forward slash and then just do like a readme.md and then, you know, that's it. Okay, so really it's just like, you don't even have to put anything. You just commit it. Okay, you don't even have to. Yeah, so commit it. And then boom, I have an images. Okay. Now mine already has stuff in there because it's like, wait, you just did the same thing, whatever. Okay. The other way you can do it is when you're at the root, if you upload the file from here. Okay. So choose my files, la, la, la. Uh, or let's see. Um, go open that. And then it'll upload, commit, okay, it doesn't matter. So let's say, so notice what I'm doing here is I'm uploading this directly to the main. Now, if I wanna go in and change the file or the location, I go in and I go to, I clicked on the photo, I click edit this file, then I can actually change the path by going to the start of the file name go to images forward slash and then commit those changes yep all good and then what's going to happen oh look at that now it's in images so now i have all the images in there okay so that being said when i go into visual studio code i have to recognize that there's going to be changes and then this is hooked up to the internet so it knows it's like oh there's changes so I have to sync those changes before I make any other changes. Otherwise it's gonna be a pain, okay? Now, this is my cloned repository, okay? So it exists on my hard drive as well. So the other thing I could have done was to simply in here, right click, um, what, 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 what? oh. Uh, create new file? No. Oh, that's not it. I thought you could right click in here. Let's see. Uh, um, um, find in folder. No. Okay, hold on. Okay, so since this is technically a cloned repository, let's see. It also exists in my binder so if i go to my binder do not like it like this one it has a list okay so if i go to my finder i think i have github github repository yeah march 21st oh is this not my github repository oh there it is date modified today okay good so here if i go to my finder i can also just move images in here Okay, so I can go find the image and put it into this folder. So like, let's see, go to, that's that one, find an image, hold on, uh, my web design yeah okay this so let's say i take this right and then i think what do i have to do right click um just copy or let's see open with i guess i could copy it i don't like copying it because then but i could go put it in i could just copy it go to github repository go to this go in here paste it in here paste item okay so now i have it here so watch what happens now in my visual studio code look up oh, changed 
it changed, it automatically alerts. So it's a change. Here it is. Go here. Um, uploaded image. Commit. Yes. And then sync my changes. Okay. Outgoing. All right. Good. So that should work. Now, remember, if you have done it in GitHub, and any time you adjust anything when you're in GitHub, every time you go into Visual Studio Code and you're working in your calendar repository, you always want to make sure to sync it. Okay. And that'll make it so you don't wind up having to do like a, a main branch, um, a branch um, merge. But if you do, it'll walk you through it. It has like a little term. You use the, uh, you use this terminal and that should help you. Um, like if you go to output, if there's an issue, it will at some point, there's always like this place where it talks about hint. Uh, let's see. This is all from today. It might not show. See. Yeah, okay. So up here, there's got to be a place where I screwed it up. Here. Oh, uh, no, no, that's not it. No. Um, can I search this? Let's see. Command F. Oh, I can. Okay. So look for merge. Okay. And then find merge. There. Okay. So eventually, or, you know, what else you can search for is hint. No? Okay. Well, that doesn't work. But it'll, <laughs> it'll give you a hint and it'll tell you like the, like this is like a command that is going on um, automatically behind the scenes. It's the version control system. So these are all the commands that are being sent um, to to make GitHub work, to make Git work, okay, with GitHub. And so if you copy one of these and then you go into your terminal and paste it, that command um, will run, okay? And it doesn't have anything really exciting to show you. It, it will just run. So I hope that is helpful. And let me know if that does not work still and we can meet.